What's good, fam? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, we're going to go over the new uh, vintage filter and the recent update to the MPC software, all right? So let's begin. All right, so the MPC software just received a pretty decent update recently um, to fix some bugs, but also they gave us a few new uh, effects to use. And today, I'm just going to show off a little bit of the the vintage filter, which is a pretty cool effect. And let's get started, all right? If you like the content, please click the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and go down below if it's your first time to get go get my free drum kit. Uh, download it now, all right? So let's open up Loop Cloud real quick. We're going to find a loop to mess with. Uh, I'm going to look for something about 90 to 100 beats per minute, wave, file, hip hop, and a combination of, you know, like, you know, combination of instruments. So let's play this. Also, make sure you're using your headphones or a good pair of listening speakers, monitors. Uh, try not to use your phone or your iPad or your iPhone. All right. Let's start listening. We're gonna start listening to some stuff. See what we like. All right. You know what? This is pretty cool. 90 beats a minute. I'm gonna buy this loop for two loop cloud points. I'm gonna drag and drop it into the NPC. Oops, sorry. I should have been in audio mode. Now let's now let's get the wave file. Let's make sure this ends up on the first bar. Okay. Let's make this a four bar loop. All right, so if you don't know where to get the, fab, uh, the filter from, you got to go to File, oh, sorry, MPC, Preferences, and then go down to where it says Plugins. No, I'm sorry. Um, activate Plugins. And over here, they'll have like a little download symbol. Just hit the download. Nope, that's not a dude. Right here. Just hit the download button. And then they'll end up in your VST folder. So let's go grab them now. Vintage filter. EQ filter. Go to air. And we're going to add the vintage filter. Open it up. All right. So right here you have a filter cutoff. You have your resonance. And you have a fat knob. Pause. The fat, uh, the fat knob here is... Um, like a saturator, all right? Here you have your different slopes. So you have a low pass at 24, low pass at 18, low pass at 12. Then you have a bypass, band pass, excuse me, uh, and then a high pass. You have your attack, so this controls the attack of the filter. This controls the release of the filter, and this controls like the depth of how the filter you know, modulates. Over here, you have the your modulation section, your LFO, low frequency oscillator. Um, you can have it sync to your tempo, and you can control the rate.
and you can control the depth. And then you have an output knob. So let's just say if the output's getting kind of hot, you can bring it down here. Okay. So let's start. Oh, let me see. Do you have any? Uh, yeah, you do have some presets you can mess around with. But I'm just going to start from scratch. All right. Let's hit play. You may even hear something. Yeah, look, l listen to the listen to the modulation on that. Turn that off. Let's go to low pass 24. Be careful when using the fat knob because um it could add just a little bit of like distortion to your, your 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 track. I'm gonna bring it up gradually so you can hear like the difference. All right, wait till we start getting down a little bit further. Crunchiness. This is probably good when you got. I would try this fat, uh, uh, fat knob here with like some drums. You could pretty get. You could get a pretty good, um, nice little bump and and crunch out of your drums with this. All right. So let's try. Let's try with the LFO. Let's start here. Let's raise the depth. If I turn the sync off, it'll just go by frequent uh, hertz. I would use this on like a uh, keys also. This will probably sound nice on. This will just show you how, how, how I'm going to show you how the depth control works a little bit. Just listen to the, if you got headphones on, this will be great. I mean, because you can hear it, how it modulates in both ears. Now let's control, the, now let's control the rate. Actually, let's put it back on the sync. Right now it's sick, singing the 16th notes. Eighth triplets. 16th, um, eighth, fourth triplets. Now let's play with the attack and the release and the depth of there. Let's control the depth. All 
All right, so let's try out some of the different slopes. Please share this with other NPC uh, fellow users. If you're in the um, if you're in the NPC gang on Facebook, send it there too. I may send it there myself. But yeah, share this video with everybody who has an NPC software using it. try to band pass what this does is that the low pass uh, lets all the lows pass or is a high cut you call it high cut filter or low pass filter um, uh, this just controls how how steep the slope is basically all right um, this one the band pass is like a high pass and a low pass all in one so it just it's like a certain frequency range that's in between here you're listening to. All right? So let's try this. Now let's try the high pass filter. Turn the output down a little bit. All right, so I hope that gives you an idea of what it can do. Um, you can also do something like this. Let's come over here. I don't know, put that down. Let's go right here. Let's let's bring this out of here. Okay, cool. Now we just got this. Let's close this for right now. And we're gonna hit the the drop down here. Go to Air Vintage Filter. And let's just say we go to cutoff, right? Actually, sorry. Let's let's bring this back to low pass. And now we could draw some funky kind of you know automation for the filter. So let's uh let's take this. I'm gonna take a pen and I'm gonna just draw something stupid. Hold on. Make sure your uh, time correct is set cor uh, correctly. Let me try it with it off. Let me All right, let's see how this sounds. <laughs> All right, you know what? It's probably better to hear it without the modulation. So let's turn the modulation off. And you can see the filter moving in and out. Then you go down here. You can go grab, let's say, uh, the resonance. And 
and now they, they both modulating. This is just to give you some ideas on what you can do and how to use this filter. Like I said, if you like the video, please click the like button. This will definitely help me uh, move this YouTube algorithm, which, yeah. Yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the video. If it sucks, it sucks. Uh, but if you like what the if you like what you're seeing, let me know, please. All right, let's add a LFO rate. And what we'll do here, we'll turn this to let's say a quarter notes. Oops. Oops, put the time correct back on. And now we're going to add some, uh, a little bit of modulation depth. Oops. All right, so that's that's pretty much it with the uh, air vintage filter. Uh, let me know if you want to see more videos. Like I'll, I'm about to do the chorus one. Uh, look forward to that. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. Click the notification bell to make sure you get that uh, notification if YouTube wants to send it. And um, yeah, I'm out, man. Uh, just an uh, just a note, I got this loop from Loop Cloud. Um, loop Cloud is a loop based service. Loop Cloud is a uh, sample, royalty free sample service that, you know, has over 4 million samples, uh, loops, and one shots. Um, I use it in pretty much all my beats now. Um, if you want to check it out, get your 14 day free trial. I'll leave the link in the description. It is my affiliate link, so it'll definitely help the channel. Um, as far as me being able to pump out more videos and you know more videos weekly and yeah let me know what you think let me know what you want to see this is your man jimmy conway beats for lyricist.com music production tips this is the mpc uh tutorial channel mpc software air vintage filter and i'm out peace